What's up everybody? Well, I got another Azus ally video for you guys today and today we are going to check out Resident Evil 2 Since we already tried zero. Oh wait, we need to do one as well So I'll have to do that after this real quick almost forgot about poor old one I do have that and that's remastered so we'll do that in order I'll just have to finish this video real quick. I already started it seems absolutely stupid to just you know Not use the footage. So we're gonna go in here We'll play at 720p and 1080p and go through all the settings and including what I would run at with at the end of each with some camera gameplay too just so you guys can see what it looks like you know looking at it through the screen and before I actually start playing well after I start play or finish this I'll download one so I don't forget to do it and I still have to get a uh, flight sim too because somebody requested that anyway no more wasting time let's go ahead and hop on into the game and see how it runs well all right guys we're gonna start off just maxing the game out ray tracing and everything and unfortunately it's still not letting the sound come through my capture card, so we gotta do all of this camera recorded again. So sorry about that. It's not as professional as some of my other videos, but it is what it is. So let's go through the settings real quick. And then we'll start going through the presets, because I can almost promise you this is not going to run well. Seeing as though we're only getting like 30 FPS in the menu. Oh. And all right, and that is the bottom. So now let's go hop into the game and we'll see how it plays, which is probably not gonna be well, but that's okay. Well, all right guys, starting off with the game completely maxed out with ray tracing maxed out as well. And yeah, this is pretty much what I was expecting. We're getting like 12, 13, 15 FPS. We're in the teens, nowhere near playable. And this is just the beginning of the game walking around in the damn parking lot of the gas station, so. If I can't handle it here, he ain't handle it later on in the game with lots of zombies and whatnot, you know? And don't worry, I'll go on progress along with the story a little bit, just like I did with the uh, rest of the systems, once we get to the end and my settings and whatnot, and I do camera. Until then, I kind of just chill in this parking lot and walk around and whatnot for like a minute and 40 seconds or so, minute 20, minute 40, something like that. It's hard to always be flawless when you're staring at the you know, screen trying to play games, but also trying to be mindful of the time of the video. Because I've noticed a lot of my ally videos get to be 40 minutes long. And that's because I did, was doing like two minutes during each little thing. And you gotta add a whole nother resolution into there, so it's almost like two different systems, so it makes the video way longer. So that's why I gotta cut back on time on these a little bit. I'm surprised though it hasn't crashed yet. I honestly figured it was going to crash almost immediately upon trying to do ray tracing. And I didn't even get a chance to try ray tracing because ray tracing right now just doesn't really work in mini games on the Steam Deck. And even if it did, you wouldn't really want to do it because this is what would happen on there too. You'd get like teens or sometimes even single digits probably on that one. But anyway, let's go move on now. So now we're going to do max preset here. So let's just go see what all that does. We're still at 1080p, and we're just going to do whatever else it wants to do. We're not going to change anything. So no FSR this time. I got B-Sync off and all that stuff, so that shouldn't interfere with our, with our plans here. Oh, and fill noise is the last one in the list. I'll try to remember that. I keep going over a lot lately when I get to the bottom. Anyway, though, we've reached the bottom, so let's go ahead and hop into the game before my camera runs out of batteries, because when I have to do, you know, nothing but camera recorded gameplay, that eats this thing's batteries. I really need to just get, like, this thing, a plug for it so I can plug it in. Anyway, let's get into the game. Well, all right, guys. So now let's try to walk around here on maxed. And we're getting a lot better FPS than I was expecting here, too. For a lot of people, this right here would be more than playable. I still would like 60 plus if I can help it, but if I can't, well then, it is what it is. Kind of like on the Steam Deck. It's like 30, 40 FPS, it seems like, for the most part. Jeez, that's kind of funny. This thing's not far off in performance from freaking Resident Evil Zero running on this thing. So that's how I know something was just going on with that game. I 
got ourselves a good old telephone. Hell, those are like almost nowhere anymore. I can't honestly remember the last time I've seen a payphone. But like everybody's got cell phones now, so why would they be around much? I'm sure they're around here and there. And it's not that more out in the, like the country area anyway. But there used to be them like at the McDonald's or the gas stations around here. Now they're all gone. <laughs> so maybe they're still in some cities here and there, but certainly not out here. Anyway, though, let's go ahead and move on to the next setting. So, now we're going to do the ray tracing preset here at 1080p. So, let's go see what all that changes here in the settings. Now, that does turn FSR on ultra quality, apparently. And, all right. We have reached the bottom, guys, so let's get back to the game and we'll see how it does with the ray tracing preset. It's probably still not going to be playable, but hey, maybe it'll surprise me. Well, no, it does not seem playable. It's doing a little bit better than it did, you know, with the game maxed out with my settings and all that stuff. Or not my settings, but the game just maxed out. But, uh, no cigar. I don't know too many people that would want to play at 20 FPS. And then honestly, FSR kind of ruins it anyway, so you're gonna have ray tracing on. I wouldn't want to have to use FSR or DLSS. Well, FSR more, because FSR just looks a little worse a lot of times. But a lot of these older games use FSR 1.0, so that's why. It's not as bad or, in, or as distinguishable once you get up to the newer FSRs. It's just this 1.0 that's kind of trash, but let's not pretend DLSS 1.0 was not any good. I used to nickname that Vaseline mode back in the day. I always thought that was pretty funny. Like, hell yeah, I want to play my game. It's like the fucking Vaseline simulator. I'd like to see what it's like to play a game like higher graphics, but making those graphics, high in graphics, pointless. As somebody smeared Vaseline all over my screen, you know? Just no fun. No fun at all. Anyway though, I think that's plenty, so let's go on to the next setting. Well now we're going to do graphics priority mode here. So, and this is at 1080p still, though almost all of these have FSR on, so it's not really at 1080p, but you know what I mean. The base of the game is still at 1080p. Anyway though, back in here, let's see what all the settings that changed. Yep, still FSR ultra quality. And all right, and with that, we've reached the bottom, so why don't we go ahead and see how this mode does. All right, guys, now we're on prioritize graphics, and we're right at about 60. Though I'm sure it'll drop here and there under 60 a little bit, but as long as it's not going to go and drop down to, like, 40s or low 50s, I think we're good. Obviously, we're still going through all the settings. That's not like I'm saying, oh, oh no, we're good, we're going to stop. Nope, we already started. We're going through all of them at this point. But this is a lot more playable than any of the other settings we've tried so far. That's for sure. Though I still would like to not have to use FSR if I have to. But that might just not be possible if you want 1080p. And then still though, you're not at 1080p anymore at that point. But still. I'm pretty sure we can work something out on this thing to get like 60-ish FPS, or at least playable FPS, without the need of FSR. Just don't get me wrong, I like it at 60 FPS, but a lot of times you're just not going to get that on these handhelds, at least with the higher settings anyway. And if you're at 1080p, you kind of want nice crisp settings, I would think. That's just my thought process, just with like the higher resolutions. If I'm playing at 4K, I don't want to have to, like, turn everything down to low just to get, like, a 60 FPS experience. Although I'm used to more like a 80 to 120 FPS experience on um, 4K anyway. Although all my systems run at very different FPSs. So I'm used to a variable refresh or variable 
just FPS rates more than refresh rates. Anyway, though, shit, I almost did the smooth friggin' moonwalking shit that Michael Jackson did there. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Let's check out the balanced preset now. So let's go ahead and back out of here and we'll just cruise through here real quick, see what all it changed real quick. Still got the epithara on, like I was saying. Almost all these settings have that. When we get to my settings, I'm going to try to avoid using it if I can. Sometimes I can't in games, though. But anyway, we have just reached the bottom here. So, back to the game we shall go. All right, guys. Now we're on balanced graphics preset. So let's just walk around and see what kind of FPS we get. So far, it looks like we're going to get over 60 out here in the parking lot anyway. And man, with that free sync display, man, does this look smooth. Because, I mean, the thing's got a 120 hertz screen. We're not even at this thing's max refresh rate yet. But yet, this is still, like, super smooth. Wished it looked a little better because I got FSR on, but seeing this, I think we can at least get 60-ish without the FSR. With the right settings. We'll see. I could be wrong, but I'm going to give it my damnedest try once we get to my settings anyway. Burgers! Hmm. Shit, now do I want to eat pizza for dinner now, or do I want burgers for dinner? Hmm. Oh well, dinner's still far away. Hmm. Get some cigarettes. But yeah, funny enough, this this game is playing pretty damn good. I wonder what was wrong with Resident Evil Zero. Kind of makes me wonder. I wonder how Resident Evil 1 is going to run. Although, I think that game was limited to 30 FPS. Could be wrong, but I think that's what it was limited to on the Steam Deck. Maybe that'll be different on Windows. That'll be fun to check. I got that ready to download in the background. I didn't want to waste a bunch of battery downloading it, so... It's just ready to download. As soon as we're done with this video, it'll download, and then I can do that. And I'll put that video out before we do this one. Because I wanted to do it, you know, in order. Anyway, though, we went way too long on this one, so let's move on. Now we shall do some performance priority preset here. 1080p, though it does turn FSR on, so it's not really 1080p anymore. But anyway, let's see what it changes real quick here. And this mode usually turns this game into, like, first-person shooter-style FPS on all the rest of the systems I've tested on. Let's see how it does on the Asus Ally here. Oh, went too far again. whoops -a doodles Anyway, though, why don't we go ahead and go hop on into the game now. Now it's time for performance priority mode here. And we're up into the 80s and 90s here. As far as FPS is concerned now, so it definitely did something. Definitely not eSports levels of FPS like it is on some other systems, but that's still a lot. If all you want is FPS, boom, you've got it. Though it's still not 1080p, but the base is. This would look a whole lot worse if we did 720p and then we also put it on performance mode, but you'll see that later in the video. We're still going to do that too. Though my camera is down to one slot of battery, I'm hoping I can at least get done with the 1080p. And then plug the camera in and plug the ally in. And even though it's not quite super low yet, it's down to 62. It could get charged while the camera's getting charged. Why not, you know? Otherwise, it could get low on battery before I get done after this. You never know. But yeah, that's like some super butter smooth. At least with a controller. It might not be as super smooth with a mouse for some people. But if you, all you got is a controller, man, this is just butter. Alright, though, 
why don't we go ahead and move on to the next graphic setting. Now let us do the recommended preset before we get to do my settings here. Hopefully I have enough camera battery here. It's down in one slot. So let's not waste any more time and let's cruise through the settings here. Yeah, I don't want to just go too fast and rush, but I was hoping I could at least get done with the 1080p before having to plug this camera in. But I don't know if I can do it. We'll see though. And all right, we've reached the bottom already. So let's get into the game and we'll see how recommended does. Now we've got what it recommends to run the game at, which seems to be putting us right at around the 60 FPS mark. At least looking at certain stuff, but now we're up into the 70s. So this is kind of like a fine line. With settings like this, I almost guarantee at certain instances it's gonna drop under 60. Almost guaranteed. See, like right there, down to 57, 58. But Without a frame rate counter, would we all really even notice that? I probably wouldn't. It's not until you start getting down in like the 55s, 52s, 54s, where I'm like, okay, I feel like we're a little under 60 now, guys. What's, what's going on here? But that's just me, of course. Maybe other people are even more sensitive than I am. Like down to 55 there, still didn't feel that bad. Though maybe it's got to do with that FreeSync screen that does mask some of the bad frame rates a little bit. But what it can't do is it can't, you know, hide the fact if we were at like 100 FPS right now and then we drop down to 55, we would damn well know it. That would be a huge stutter. Anyway, now let's go and try my settings out. Now let's try my settings out here. So let's just cruise through here real quick. Hopefully I got enough camera battery to get that small, uh, small amount of gameplay here. And the settings screen is down on one bar and it's been there for quite some time and this thing definitely doesn't get the best battery life either. Just like the Ally. Anyway though. Those are the settings I've chosen to run with. It might not be a constant 60, but let's go and see what it can do. All right, guys, let's check out my settings now. No FSR or anything, and we're still under 60 a little, down to like 55, 53 at some points here. So it'll probably drop down a little, but I don't foresee it dropping all the way down to like a 40 or anything like that. So let's just walk around here for a little teeny tiny bit and then we'll walk in and see how it does in the cutscenes. Those usually are pretty hardcore and those will probably drop well on, into like the 30s or whatever. But as long as they don't drop under 24, which is like film, I'm okay. I'm not controlling it at that point. Though I'd still like that to be 62, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying it's not the end of the world. Anyway though, let's walk in here now, before I run out of camera battery and do what I said. I said we would go in here and actually start doing a little bit of the story mission here. Hello? Anybody there? Oh, well, we found a flashlight. Something's not right. No, no, something is definitely not right. We shall be back. All right, this is the part that always drops like mad frames. Yep, down into the 30s. You're damn right I'll shoot. Oh, missed. Missed. No. No bite. And all right. Now, why don't we go ahead and plug the camera in before it dies 
and then we'll move on to 720p. Well now, let's go ahead and go through the settings again here real quick. For 720p, we're going to just max the game completely out. And it looks like i got to move my lights. They're in the way here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Although from my viewfinder, I can still see it just fine. I also just am focusing on my lights a little too. So I'll maneuver those a little bit before we start the next little bit. So there we go. And with that, why don't we go ahead and hop into the game. All right, guys. So now we're at 720p, completely maxed out with ray tracing. And yeah, still not really doing that much better than when 1080p with ray tracing. I just don't think this thing's gonna like ray tracing very much. AMD doesn't do very good at it anyway, and obviously that is still the case. Especially when you're on a more low-end GPU like this. But keep in mind, we're also got the rest of the game maxed out too, so maybe it could get like 30 FPS if you turned a bunch of other stuff down, but I don't know if you could hit 30 and stay above uh, 30 without FSR. And then at that point, like I've always explained, why bother making all the graphics super high-end if you have to, like, use FSR 1.0 and make everything look terrible <laughs> just to hit playable frame rates. I would just tone a couple other things down and then not use ray tracing at all. That's just my, my two cents, anyway. Still, I will give it credit. It hasn't crashed with this game at all yet, even though I'm pushing it way past its means for this particular game. It's crashed in other games, but... And if it does, I always show it. Just like with anything else, unfortunately. My laptop like, had never really crashed any games. And my Steam Deck, every time it does, it's very rare, but I've never made a YouTube video. If, I, if it happened while I was making a YouTube video, I'd show it. Simple as that. Same thing with the main desktop and the secondary computer, both of which have crashed on camera, too. Whoa, we got like super fucking bright lights. Anyway! I think that is good. Let us now move on to the next graphics preset. So alright guys, we're going to start off with the max preset here first. So let's back out of there real quick and show you guys what all that is real fast. For those of you who are skipping the beginning and it's coming right to here. Plus when I do this it's a lot easier to do uh, screen times or uh, chapters and what you would call it, YouTube too. A lot harder when it's a constant stream of data then you have to pretty much just watch your whole video and hope you can figure out where it is. Anyway, let's get into the game now and see how Max does. Probably won't do very good, but hey, only one way to find out. Well now guys, let's try some maxed out gameplay here at 720p. And I'm actually surprised we're at 60-65 FPS. Now I'm guaranteeing you there are some points in the game, like during the cutscenes, it would still drop under 60, but that's pretty damn good if you're willing to just drop it down uh, 720p, get some higher end graphics, but that's why this uh, device is pretty sweet. You can do either or. You can do native res or you can do 720p and it doesn't look that much worse. Definitely looks a little worse than native, but I'm one of those guys who would rather have lots of FPS most often than not. Now this is a game I could play at, you know. 30 or 40 FPS, and I have gotten gameplay at, on the Steam Deck when I thought, oh no, this is still more playable. But I'd much rather have, you know, 60s, maybe low 50s or whatever, up to 70s, 80s, like we're getting here. Well, I don't think we hit 80. Nah, 76, 75 is about all we hit, but still. Oh no, there was a 78 there. So I could still say almost 80. That was, that was a warranted statement, I would guess. So, badass. So if you're more realistic with settings, and don't just max it out, then I'm sure we can get some very playable frame rate where we stay above 60 besides cutscenes. I'm almost guaranteeing you the cutscenes will go under. That happened on everything. But as long as it stays over 24, I'm a happy guy. Would like it to stay over 60, but it's not the end of the world for me if cutscenes aren't a constant 60. I don't go, oh, nope, fuck this, uninstall. <laughs> anyway. Let's go move on to the next graphics setting. Time to do the ray tracing preset now, so let's back out of that screen. I just want to show you what preset we were on, and we'll go cruise through and see what the settings it changes. Now it does turn FSR on ultra quality, apparently. But 
I would like to avoid using that if I can, so I will not be using that, just like I didn't at, at 1080p. But anyway, that's the bottom, so let's go ahead and hop back into the game and we'll see how their preset ray tracing does. Well, all right, so here's the game's preset ray tracing and it's really not much better than having the game maxed out with ray tracing. We're still getting down to the same like 17, 16. We might be like two or three FPS more. Well, here we go, here we're all more now, but still. Not playable at all, at least in my opinion. But we'll still get a tiny bit of footage here. I've got three bars of life on the on the camera. I decided to charge it up for a little while, but I figured that would probably be enough to finish. And then I got this thing back up to 100% too. That's pretty much what I waited for. I figured one of the two will get to 100 and we'll try it again. Sure is one hell of a rainy night though, isn't it? So much rain, soon to be so many zombies. But in any case, I think that's plenty. So let's go move on to the next preset. Next up here, we got graphics priority. So let's go see what that does with the settings here and then we'll see how it runs. I wished I could do screen recorded gameplay, but unfortunately, nope. Only sound only comes out of the speakers, and I don't want to give you guys no sound and just me talking. That would be kind of lame. So we're just gonna do this, and hopefully you guys still enjoy the video. I know it's not as high quality as some of my other videos where I do screen capture, but it is what it is. I figured people still wanted to see how these games ran, so I'm not gonna let people down. But anyway, let's get back into the game. Now here we go with the game on graphics priority. And at least with FSR on, we get lots of FPS now. Because we're well below 720p now. We're probably at like 480p, I would guess. Oh well, no, that's a little too low for ultra quality. I think that was more like just a little bit percentage off. Like it's almost the same, but not quite. So let's see, what would it freaking be? Maybe like 620p or something like that? I don't know. Four eighty is a little too low though. That'd probably be more like balanced or quality at this at this particular resolution. So we're already at seven twenty, but I don't like how it makes the game image look so soft. So I'm not gonna be using it. I don't think we need it. Definitely smooth though. Can't deny that. So if you can deal with the softness, then this is a very good setting. Definitely can't complain with the frames. It's not stuttery or anything. Or if it is, it's being ha had, uh, hid very well by the variable refresh rate free sync screen on this thing. That's so confusing though. Why is this game so run so well, but freaking Zero ran like crap. I wonder how one will run. I still have to do that, which I'll post that video before this one, but I'm doing this one first in reality, so that's why I'm asking that question now. You guys already know before we ever even get to this video. Anyway, moving on, going to do balanced preset here now. So let's back out, check the, out these settings just real quick, then we'll get back into the game. Still does use FSR, unfortunately most of the presets do but you can always just hit the preset and then turn FSR off if you don't want it on and see how the game runs without it. I'm just sticking to exactly the presets. Otherwise it wouldn't be a preset. Anyway, to the game. Here we go with balanced preset. And we seem to be getting like 120 FPS. That's pretty cool. So if people are more concerned with hitting the native refresh rate, this would probably be the setting to use as long as you're okay with the way it looks. I think it looks a little bit crappy now in my opinion, but That also might be a lot because it's at 720p now too. But I know that definitely makes a difference, but I don't think it looks like absolute trash. Like I've seen a lot of people saying, no, I just won't play at 720 no matter what. 
And I'm like, all right, hey, it's your device. You can do whatever you want, but I'm not gonna lie. I would rather play at 720p and get playable frame rates, even if it meant putting it to uh, some settings down on top of it. But that's just me, everybody's different. And that's why PCs are cool. You can do whatever you want with this thing. You wanna only run it at 1080p and just turn everything down to low just to get 1080p, cool. That's totally okay. It's even cool. They even got like in the little menu here, they've actually got a thing where you can just change on the fly from 720 to 1080. That way games that, uh, whatchamacallit, look at the desktop resolution, don't get screwed over. You just can't use it during the games. A lot of games don't seem to like you doing it. So you either crash the game out or the setting won't even change or like click it and it just won't do anything. Just some of my findings figured I'd share with you. Anyway though, let's move on. We are now on the performance priority preset. So let's go see what that one does real quick. And then of course we will jump into the game. More FSR of course. These games tend to like to use that ever since it got implemented. But all right. Sorry about all the shakiness and that. I wished I could get screen capture, but unfortunately the uh, ally was being a bit of a dildo. But anyway, let's get into the game and we can see how it runs. Now here we go with some performance priority. And the game looks like absolute crap, but we are getting like 140 FPS. Wow, almost 160. Over 160. Damn. But now it kind of looks like a Switch game. But let's be honest, a Switch could never get 120 FPS in this game, even with everything on low, beyond low settings. That thing's processor and GPU are just too weak. But that's what happens when you use like 2013 chips. But they also cut down on cost a lot doing that. But then they also still made it pretty expensive compared to what things were like the last gen consoles, like the PS4s and the, what you would call it, Xbox Ones, and those things absolutely destroyed it in performance. And now, we're on the next gen consoles and there's still no answer. They gave a OLED, which is cool, it's got an OLED screen, I love OLED screens, but to me that doesn't matter if the rest of the fucking hardware is still dog shit. That's just my opinion. That doesn't mean you can't have fun with the games on it, absolutely not. But me, I wouldn't have fun if I was playing Zelda, and all of a sudden I'm having fun, and then all of a sudden it drops to 20 FPS. I'd be like, okay, well that kind of breaks the immersion a little. Still had fun, absolutely. Still played the game, fuck yeah. But I wouldn't have as much fun if it stayed at constant 30, or preferably 60. I kind of wished all games were 60, no matter what. But sometimes it's just not possible. But anyway, let's go hop on into the settings again and move on to the next preset. All right, guys, let's do recommended preset now before we do my settings. So let's go see what the recommended settings are real fast. And then we'll jump into the game. I'm trying not to move much. It's not easy though. Still wished I could get screen capture. Hopefully I can fix that again, but I tried so long today. I spent like an hour trying to get it to work and it just wasn't. And I wanted to get to making videos. So I decided people would rather see it like this than not see the videos at all, you know? Anyway, to the game. Well, now we're on recommended. So let's walk around a teensy tiny bit, and then we'll do my settings right after this and see what I can do. I think we can make it look pretty damn good at 720p. And we're not gonna use no FSR, I can promise you that. Not happening. Didn't use it at 1080p, I'm surely not using it at 720. Because when you do that, it looks really, really bad. You think it looks bad when you're at 1080p dropping it down to 720 or below? Well, if you're already at 720p, it's only lower and worse. And I know that from the Steam Deck videos. And that thing's even got its little built-in FSR that it can do too. But even that doesn't look great. I actually come to think of it, does anybody know what version that is? Is that 1.0, 2.0, 2.1, what? They don't really say, they just say FSR. I kind of figured it was always 1.0 or some custom one that doesn't really have one. But that's just a guess. I'm no developer, so I have no idea. And sorry if the uh, sound is a little quiet in the game, too. I would put the volume up, but that's another kind of thing that happens in some of these games. Sometimes you go to turn volume up and it just doesn't let you. Like, I could go hit the volume button right now and it ain't going to do nothing. See? 
doesn't doesn't come up with anything didn't get any louder you have to do it before you get into the game now with the steam deck you can put the volume up whenever the hell you want so that's just one of the cool things about linux but this thing is more powerful and we're getting way more fps than we did at the with the steam deck so that game uh th that thing i believe i stuck with a 30 fps experience or a 40. But anyway, time to move on to my settings. All right, now for my settings real quick at 720p here. So let's go through them real fast. No FSR, of course. That can go up. I almost forgot about that guy. Haha. -ha. But besides that, here's the rest of them. And all right, and with that, let's go ahead and Get in the game and we'll see how my settings do. Well, here we go with my settings now. So let's walk around a little bit with my settings and see what we get. We seem to be at right around 90 FPS out here. Ooh, even up to the hundreds. And doesn't look bad at all now. I mean, would it look a little crisper at 1080p? Fuck yeah, it would, but we wouldn't be getting 105 FPS then. Then again, though, I had it running pretty good at, uh, 1080p, I'd probably just play at that, especially if I was on this, because I just understand, you know, you're not going to get 60 FPS plus all the time, but it was still close. I'd have to play in C, for sure, though, but that's probably what I'd do. If I can have, if I can, I try to play at 1080p every single time, but some games you got to turn down to 720p or use FSR, which is still dropping it under, under native res. Anyway, though, I think that's enough parking lot. Let's uh, go in here and deal with some zombas. Zombapa. Zombito. All right, I'm done. Hello? Man, this there? looks freaking crisp, though, still, even at 720p. And since I turned on decent and aliasing, there's not too much jaggies. Now I'm curious, can we stay above 60 at the zombie part with the dude ripping the dude's neck out? You all right? This guy is not alright. He is bleeding out. He's gonna turn into a zombie. That's my he's gonna turn into a zombie song. Hopefully everybody liked it. You do not. Yep, just barely. 63-64. And that's where you're like, oh, this guy's not quite right. And he's all like, oh, I have more food. Alright, one, two, and three. Alright, let's go over here. We can admire whoever's in here's fine selection of... Well... No. I'm not dealing with your nonsense. Oh. There we go. All right, hit him so he's bounced back so he can run by. This guy tries to push shit over on you, and you're like, fuck that shit, dude. And then you can run over here and meet the chick. Don't shoot. Get down. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Yeah, you're anything but safe right now, that's for sure. And they want to come out and play too.
And the rumble in this thing is really nice too. I think they're like right here. That's where it feels like they're coming from, right around this area. Anyway, though, I think that's plenty. I went way more than I usually do for that, but I wanted to get in all the way until they pretty much get into the city. So they're about to. So why don't we go and wrap this video on up? Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for Resident Evil 2. And it played it absolutely flawlessly with the right settings. Obviously, you can't play it maxed out and stay above 60 quite, especially with ray tracing. But still, a very, very pleasant experience. I'm starting to get worried. Like, I was playing a bunch of other games lately, and they were not doing so hot. Like, Darksiders didn't do so hot at first without messing around with it and dropping it down to 720p. But even at 1080p, it was very playable. Wasn't capsi able to stay a constant 60 even with my settings, but that's okay. That's the kind of game where it can drop a little. You got a variable fresh rate screen. It's not going to matter too much. But anyway, now I have to go and uninstall this and download Resident Evil 1, which is only like probably 14 gigabytes, and I gotta download Flight Sim, because somebody requested that. Although that one might be a little bit too tall of an order for this thing. We'll have to wait and see. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it wasn't as professional as usual, but the damn thing doesn't want to have sound come through the capture card. It only wants to come out through the speakers, so I figured nobody wants to hear a mute video with just me talking and just a picture, so I figured this was the only other solution. And at least I had a solution. Otherwise, no one would be able to see how it ran on my channel, and that wouldn't be fun to get an ally back. Sorry guys, can't show any games that other channels might not be covering. It don't work, so. At least we got something. Hopefully I can get it fixed, but it wasn't having it. Spent about an hour trying to get it to work before giving up and just deciding, all right, we're just doing all camera, bitch, <laughs> you know? And I think I was a little salty in the first video I made too. I was probably seemed like a little madder than usual, but I was slightly irked. Anyway though, I'm rambling. I don't usually like doing that, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video still because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.